Good morning, scholars. Today is Thursday, May 21st, 2020. This week, we've been focusing on graphs. Today, we're going to take a closer look at bar graphs. So here's some key information that we're key vocabulary we've been thinking about. The first word is data. Remember, data is information that we're getting. So when we say the word data, we're talking about the information we're going to use to create a graph. Now, what is a graph? A graph is a chart that organizes our data. It helps us to just take a quick look and be able to see it. We've been talking about our favorite food and we've made line plots with it, and pictographs. And today I want to show you how to make a bar graph. Now, let's say we took a vote and people voted for their favorite foods and we had four people vote for spaghetti, six people vote for pizza, four people vote for hot dogs, and five people vote for tacos. Well, we're going to take a look at our bar graph and instead of adding X's, dots, or symbols today, we're going to create a bar. So we're going to find the number on the side and go up to that number to create a bar. Let's look at what that's going to look like. Let's start with spaghetti. Four people voted for spaghetti. So we can see that this here is where I see the four on my bar graph. I'm going to create a bar that goes up to the four and color it in. So I'm just coloring in a bar that goes to the number four. And then I can put the number four on top of it. Spaghetti, it says that, oh, that was spaghetti, sorry. Pizza, for pizza, six people voted for it. So I'm gonna find the number six on my bar chart and I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna make a bar that goes up to the number six. So I don't get confused, I'm gonna put the number six above it. And I just color it in. Now let's look at hot dogs. How many people voted for hot dogs? four people. So I'm going to find that number four again and I'm going to draw a bar above hot dogs that show that four people voted for hot dogs. I'm going to put it right on top too just to make it easy to see. And then how many people voted for tacos? Five people. So I'm going to find the number five on my chart and I'm going to put it right there and color it in. And that's a bar chart. You see how we have information that's given to us, our data, and then we put it into a chart that helps us quickly see the information. Let's look at one more example. Let's make a favorite chart about, or let's make a bar graph about our favorite pets. Let's say we took a vote and, uh oh, that's hard to see. Well, that says five people voted for dogs. One person voted for a cat, two people voted for hamsters, and three people voted for bunnies. So we'll start with the dog. So if five people voted for dogs, we find the five on our chart, our bar graph, and we draw a line and fill in our bar. And we write five above it. We only had one person vote for a cat, so we'll find the one. Draw a line and fill in the bar. It says that we have two people who voted for hamster, so we'll find the two and fill in our bar. And three people voted for bunnies. So we'll find the three on our chart, come across and make a bar that goes up to the three and we'll put three right above it. All right, scholars, so that is a bar chart. Today in your work, you're going to see another video that helps remind us about how to make bar charts, so make sure you watch that example also. You're also going to be thinking about questions you could ask, like we've been doing in some of our other graphs. What kind of question could I ask about this one? Hmm. How about what pet did the most people vote for? So what do you think? What pet was the one that most people voted for? You got it, it was a dog. What about what pet did the least amount of people vote for? Cat. 
That's it. So we're going to be working with graphs for a couple more days. Have an awesome day of learning.